Okay, let's go. Let's go back to getting this mask off. I like videos because I can not wear my mask for a few minutes. I'm Don Sackett, CEO, co-founder of PsyApps. We're back for our second in a series of three videos on sorting aluminum alloys. So, as I said in the last video on the fast sorting, this is the new X-Ray. It's the smallest, lightest one ever made. It's got this beautiful metal frame, very durable, handles heat beautifully just a joy to use all day long. So you heard that pitch before, we don't need to repeat it anymore. What I wanna show now is, we talked in the last video, if you get sort of pretty typical types of aluminum, the common stuff, 3003, 61, 63, 7050, that kind of stuff, that quick sorting in a single beam shot uh, works great. And we showed that in the last video. Now I wanna show about, about if you get more a wider variety of aluminum alloys where you really should measure magnesium and silicon to sort these guys out the right way and avoid a mix-up. That's what I'm going to show you now. So, so now we're going to switch over to doing what's called the two-beam test. First beam identifies it's an aluminum alloy. Second beam measures the mag and the silicon to really hone in on the exact grade. And I'll give you some examples compared to last time. So let's start out with my favorite Let's start out with uh, 6063. So when I shoot 63, it comes up and then it flips over. Now you're gonna measure magnesium and silicon. You see it's a perfect match to 6063. Um, and the reason is, is we're now measuring about the half a percent magnesium and the usual, the silicon that's in the alloy. So we know that's not an 1100 because 1100 does not have a half a percent magnesium. If I shoot my 1100, same thing, it's gonna flip over. It's gonna say 1100 perfect match. Why? Because you see there's no magnesium measured. So in the last video we said, some people like to do this the simple way, single beam shot a second or so. And these two, 1100 and 63, are the most likely to get mixed up when you do that. If you, if you spend the extra one or two seconds, so maybe a three or four second test total, you can 100% sort these out because you'll measure that magnesium. One of the real innovations besides the small size and weight of this analyzer is we designed this thing because we've been in the x-ray business for 20 plus years. We designed this device to really measure magnesium fast. People used to hate measuring magnesium with x-ray guns because it took like 30 seconds or longer to see the 1% mag in a 60-61. Now we're doing that in one or two seconds. It's really pain free. So I would say if you have stuff like this, take the extra second, two seconds, sort these out by measuring the magnesium and the silicon. Um, let's give you some other examples. Again, less, uh, probably less common stuff. You know, here's a 3003, and it just comes up. It's gonna say it's a 3003, right there, perfect match. If you, just, if you didn't bother looking for magnesium and silicon, um, this could be a 3005. So let's shoot a 3005. And the only difference in these two is the 3005 has about 0.3% magnesium. That comes up in just a couple seconds. All right, so if you encounter 3005, 3004, not just- It's five o'clock. Not just three <laughs> double. <laughs> Quitting time. <Overtime>. Not just, <laughs> hey, we're getting paid overtime now. Not just 3003. Um, you want to measure that magnesium. That's a great example. So let me again, let's show you. That's a hard measurement. This, an old x-ray gun, this would have taken a minute to do. But look at this. It's a couple of seconds. All right, one, two, switch beams. One, two, three seconds. There's your magnesium. There's your perfect match, 3005. So that's, that's the, the more precise way to do it. Takes a little longer, more precise. Let's do one other example. Here's a, again, everybody gets 2024. 20, and you see that in a few seconds, a couple percent magnesium. But what if this was really a 2014 that doesn't have any magnesium? If it was a 2014 and you did it the quick and dirty way, you just think it was a 2024. Maybe you don't care, but you may be able to get a little more money if you sort out a 2014 from a 2024. So let's just shoot the 2014. The difference is there's no mag and there's very little mag in 2014. So there you go. See, perfect match to 2014. Only a little bit of magnesium right there. A few more seconds, but you get that low mag to make that measurement. Finally, then your other stuff, we talked about doing 5,000s. Again, if you don't mind a few more seconds, it only takes about an extra second to see that 2% mag in a 50-52. You're done. 
And the higher you go in mag, the faster it is. Here's a 5083, comes right up. 5083, 5% or so magnesium. So anyway, if you want to go fast, use the first method, cut one or second or so. But if you want to measure that mag in silicon, take the extra two seconds and really know that grade if you really need to do that. And remember, this has become a lot less, this has become really pain-free these days because you can see that mag in silicon with this analyzer in just a couple of seconds, even down as low as 0.3%. Um, and that is much better than any other x-ray gun. Finally, my, maybe my favorite thing to shoot, this is a 356. This is 0.3 or so percent magnesium. A couple of seconds pops right up. So I love showing that measurement because again, that low mag is, has historically been really difficult for x-ray guns. We're doing it in a couple of seconds. That's it, that's the gun, thank you very much. And then the last video, if you go to that, we're gonna show you an even faster way to measure magnesium and silicon. It's called the Aluminum App. It's something that we developed, we patented, and we can show it to you in the next video. Thanks.